Have y'all heard the diss tracks that Mistress and Bob put out against each other? Living. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Nellyville Reviews RuPaul's Drag Race Season 15. You guys, we have made it to the reunion episode, so let's just get into it. So, um, this week, I'm thinking we should focus mostly on the looks. If you want all of the tea and the drama of the reunion, I suggest you watch it. Was it the most entertaining, uh, drama-filled reunion that we've ever seen? No, but it was a good one. I would put it up there. I would watch it again. Some girls stood out more than others, and some of the ones who stood out, um, as far as personality, were not the, necessarily the ones in the top Four. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and judge these looks and give them a, a nice little toot or a nice boot out the window, the house down. Let's take a look at Princess Poppy. So if you're wondering why does she look like she's a girl about to go to the mall in 2003 and 2005? Um, that's because she is doing an homage to a very old throwback original drag race girl, Rebecca Glasscock, who showed up in a very pedestrian look because at that time when drag race first came out, pedestrian drag was very in, it was very in trend. And uh, so Princess Poppy, this is what she's giving. And also, um, word on the street is she's done with the drag. So, um, hey, Poppy, you know. Do what makes you happy, but you know, if you ever want to come back to the drag world, come on back, girl. So for this outfit, if you're going to do a reference, make the reference spot on. But even with that being said, I like a reference to a throwback. So I'm going to give the outfit a nice toot. Anitra came showing up in a pink and black ensemble. Look, I love the hair. The makeup is nice. I just don't know that I like the hair on her. The hair needed to be a little bit bigger. And I'm not sure how I feel about this outfit. The outfit is okay. I'm thinking the padding. Is she padded? It needs, the, the body is not right. And y'all know how I feel about the body. I don't know, Anitra. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to have to give it a boot. I'm sorry, but I love you. And good luck to you in the finale. Even though it already happened, but like, good luck to you. And we have Amethyst. Amethyst came showing up in whatever this is. Um, the hair is nice. Look at my, don't look at my hair. The hair is okay, but I don't know. Also, going back to Anitra, Anitra was a little quiet, but like, whatever. Um, and then, oh, and then Rebecca, or not Rebecca, I'm sorry, Princess Poppy, um, she sat a little bit, but she mostly just sat there and ate her food. Amethyst, I don't know, girl, I think I'm gonna have to give this a soft boot, not a hard boot, but a soft boot, and, um, she had some zingers during the reunion. Jax. Um, once again, the outfit is fine, but where is the body? Look, baby, you got these broad man shoulders. You got to wear a boob and you need to at least cinch the waist. The hair is pretty cool. Um, overall look, I mean, the glasses, I don't know. I, you know what? I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice and I'm going to give it a soft toot. Okay. Um, the reunion, I don't remember her much in the reunion. I don't remember anything that I was like, oh, <laughs> or like, girl, what are you talking about? Moving on. Mistress Isabel Brooks. I like it. I like it. Um, That's not my favorite color, but the makeup is right. The wig is right. The body is right. I like the boxer belt wrestling belt type of situation um mistress stole the show like without even trying like mistress just is uh she is an entertainer she is what you think of when it comes to drag as far as the reunion she she made her presence known without it feeling like she was trying to steal the show like it just was naturally she was very confident she was very funny um she she was congenial but yet shady like 
she she knows how to perform on TV. So toot the outfit. Then we have Lucy LaDuca. I'm just going to jump right out of the bat and say this is a toot for me. Lucy looks great. I love the proportions of everything. I love the classic big blonde dolly hair. I like the earring. I like the makeup. Um, I love the silhouette of the entire garment. I like the color. I, I, I like this. Lucy, you came correct. Um, she did pretty good in the reunion. Um, I feel like she was holding back a little bit. I still think she's in a place where she's still worried about what the fans are going to think of her. And I think once she lets that go and some of the other girls, I think she's going to be okay. But this is a really good look, Lucy. Good job, girl. You go, girl. Irene Du Bois. So Irene has definitely been a fashion favorite this season, even though she was the first to go home. Because like I said, y'all know the girls, they poke, come on now. Y'all know the girls like to post their looks even after they have left the show. They post them on Instagram and she has been a fan favorite. This this is going to be a toot for me. Um, I liked seeing her in the reunion. Some parts of the reunion felt like she was trying a little hard to be involved. But hey, you trying to do what you got to do to get that screen time. So I'm not mad. But the look is a toot. I like it. Aramari. Now, this is a very interesting look because this this is really giving me James Charles circa 2019-ish. And if I can find the picture, I'm going to try to do a side-by-side. -side. Now, when James Charles wore a very similar look to this, everyone was like, that's so ugly. What's he wearing? But then she wears this a few years later, even though it's a little different, still the same type of gig. And everyone was like, stunning. So, I don't know if times change or if people just hate James Charles. Probably maybe a combination of both. But I'm not I'm not mad at this look. It's very pulled together. I like the hair with it. The makeup is very nice. I love the eye. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to get a toot for Miss Ara Maori. Um, and I enjoyed her in the, the reunion from what I remember. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Coming through with classic Marsha realness. Um... The makeup is fine. I'm not mad at the garment. I'm going to give it a soft toot. Um, I would have liked to have heard a little bit more for her in the reunion, but overall, I enjoyed it, and the look is fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. A soft toot. Then we have the Miss Sasha Colby. Sasha was very quiet at the reunion. I think Sasha is also one of those who is very concerned about what the fans are going to say. And I think that once the, the drag race and everything is over, I think that she's going to show more personality. She's going to come out of her shell more um, as far as like with public speaking or with interviews and stuff. And I think that we're going to get to fall in love with her, the more genuine her. Um, but then again, some people are just performers. The look... Um, a little boring it's a little boring um it looks like if i went to a brunch and she was wearing this i would live um maybe she's saving her money for the reunion i don't know but it it just it didn't really i mean it's okay i guess but i mean she kind of already wore something like this before and the makeup is a little harsh for me, so I'm sorry, Sasha. I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'll give. It, I'll give it a soft boot, you know, and, and sh let that personality out a little more. Baby, don't be shy. Don't be scared. You scared? Say you scared. Malaysia baby doll fox. This was one of my favorite looks of the night. I love the hair. Miss Malaysia. Ooh, almost got me. Malaysia is always gonna give you the fox ear. Duh. I love the pink on her skin. I like the pink mixed with the blonde in the hair. I love this hair. Oh, I love this wig. The, I love the drag. I love the whole look. It is very classic pageant drag. And it, it like it, nothing was clockable on her. Like everything was flawless. Yeah, I, go look and see. Watch it. Watch the actual show because this is not doing it justice. 
this is it. This is this is a definite big toot. Okay, so get down, Malaysia. She um she she did all right in the reunion and stuff. She was still trying to sugarcoat some things, but baby, I, I get it. You know, y'all scared of the fans. I believe I'd be scared of the fans too. You know what I'm saying? But this, there's no arguing with the look. There's no arguing with it. Oh, stunning. Then we have Sugar and Spice. Oh, these are two of my favorites. And I wish they would have been on the show a little longer, but they still out here dipping it and doing it. The looks are good, but for them, they are weak. I've seen both of them turn much better looks. And, but I'm sure in the finale, they're really going to bring it. So, these, like I said, these are fine. The, the body is right. The, the wigs are fine or whatever. I like that they came carrying their little Barbie dolls or whatever doll they had. But, um, yeah, like, okay. And also, I like the reference. Now, the reference is going to save them. I, I, I think I still would have tooted it, but it, it, was a, it was a really weak toot. But the reason why I'm giving it a full two is because of the reference. So they're referencing Hilary Duff, the movie. Remember when Hilary Duff was like a pop singer and then there was like the evil version of her? So that's what they're doing. So I do quite like the reference. So like, yay. But I can't wait to see them next week in the finale. And they were so funny in the reunion. They were uh, the other two along with Mistress that really like, they were just effortlessly stealing the show. Like... Hello? Like, that's how you do it. Lux, Noir, Paris, Milan, London. Um, I'm going to be honest. Love Lux, this is not my favorite look from her. Not my favorite look. Not my favorite makeup. Um, the wig was laid, honey. I just don't know that I wanted that wig with the... It just seemed very, I see what she was trying to go for, but I think it didn't go far enough. I, I see that she's trying to go for this chic, classic beauty um, and very like understated, but drag is not understated. And if you're going to go with understated drag, you like you, you need to, I don't know how, but you need to really take it there and she didn't take it there it kind of just fell by the wayside um the idea was there but this isn't my this isn't my favorite look from her but it looks uh very comfortable like what they said on <laughs> either bob or monet said she looks very comfortable and that she does so i'm sorry lux i think i'm gonna have to give it oh uh, i'm sorry I, th I think i have to give it just a, so a soft toot Almost, it's almost, it's right there. It's right there at a boot. It's, oh, oh, undecided. Can I go undecided? I don't know. Very poised in the reunion though. Very, very great. She interviews well. She's very funny. She, she was memorable. So, okay, work. Robin Fierce, um, it's going to be an immediate boot because that wig was hideous. Robin, what was fierce about your outfit and i appreciate what you were trying to do by not padding you wanted to have the legs exposed with the outfit like i get all of that but girl you should have figured out a way to put a boob on and that wig I, I don't i don't understand it just girl you you i know you can do better than this 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 is this would have been good for somebody else but for robin baby you know how to turn the look so i don't know what this was like, what is going on? Like, girl, no. And, I mean, she was I in the reunion. But this look, uh-uh. No, no. Absolutely not. Then we have Selena Estides. Um, I didn't mind the look. I wasn't crazy about the makeup. Something about the makeup didn't... It was a little, it was something was wrong. But the garment itself, I like the, the big jewelry pieces. I like the jewels. I love a glove. 
she seemed still like better boots in the reunion. But a uh, but for the look, I'm gonna I'll give it a two. Why not? Go ahead, Selena. And that's it. Is that our last queen? That's the last one. Okay. Overall, like I said, it was a good reunion. I'm looking forward to the finale. I it, it is anyone's game. Just as a reminder, the top four: Mistress, Sasha, Anitra, and Lux. So put in the comment section down below who you think is going to win. We're going to tune in for this finale. Fingers crossed. I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, the budget is certainly there since it's on MTV and everything. So I, I uh, who's ready for the Super Bowl of drag? I mean, I am. So, um, yeah, with all that being said, um, I'm going to go get this bang out of my face. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> catch you guys later. <laughs> okay, bye.